I have no bad claims against me. So my health was showing well. <clears throat> it's actually exactly the same right now. 204 account health. Zero complaints. Still zero complaints. It's purely just Amazon doing a shakedown, essentially. Prove to me that you didn't buy counterfeits. Like, well, uh, the first thing that I did was I had to present valid receipts. The second thing that I had to do was call into the account health specialist. This number right here is a little yellow button. And the third thing was add credit card information to this account info page. Obviously, I'm going to have this blurred out. Uh, but making sure that you have all the credit cards that you used in here, in charge methods. Uh, the hardest thing to do was to make sure that you pick a different credit card per marketplace. Uh, so I had four credit cards that I used. Uh, so I had to put one in each. I'm glad I didn't use more than four credit cards for this, which is a note to self. Only use maybe one and or two credit cards for your entirety of Amazon purchases. Because if this does happen to you and you're using five, six, seven, eight cards, you don't have enough marketplaces to add these charge methods in. Uh, and I don't know what they would do if I had five cards. There's only four marketplaces that I'm available in. So if I use more than four, that would have been absolutely atrocious and probably would still be in Amazon jail right now. So that's the quick and nitty gritty of it. Okay, so let's kind of go a little bit deeper dive into each one of those. I, I literally <clears throat> have the receipts. So what I did, if you guys are not saving these receipts, you're about to be in a world of hurt the moment that this comes down. So I have every single purchase that I made at the Nike outlet right here. Uh, I mean, I'm, we're talking, I am so glad that I saved every single thing. So I went through, so I highlighted it. Also uh, wanted to make sure that they could verify that the store that was there, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on there. It's not really doing well. But anyways, this is the, uh, the Nike outlet mall that I have, it has all the information up there, has the digital receipt number. So if they had to call and confirm that this receipt was from me. Lastly, at the very, very bottom of these, <laughs> I mean, these things are so long. Okay. Anyway, at the very bottom of these receipts, you have the date of the purchase as well. Put them in a way that I can actually notate each purchase with a different bar. So I said, hey, at the top, I have all these different purchases. When they are purchased, at what time, what credit card, how many different receipts are there. Um, making sure to notate with text in red or if it was text in orange, and then capture that with the boxes that are in orange or the boxes that are in red. I also said how many units? One, two, three. And then unit four, unit five, unit six, unit seven, unit eight. All the units that I purchased, I wanted to make sure that they were counting them along with me. They weren't thinking that someone's getting skipped. And when you go to Nike, or Nike, Amazon Health Support, you do the call me now. Uh, then it asks, what is your question about? Help me, please. <laughs> I didn't even know what to put in there. I, I was desperate sometimes. I was just like, I need assistance or whatever. I don't even know if they even read it. Then I, I typed in my number here. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Uh, and then I hit call me. And then they do like this weird verification thing. You do the verification. You hit submit. Uh, it says, okay, you're great. And then there's another call me button and they'll actually call your phone right there. But it started doing some weird, like 
instantly disconnecting me. So it put me in, put me in the queue or whatever it is. Boom, disconnect. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like day four. They are really trying to hold me out. Like they don't want to talk to me. They're going to, they're, they're not going to do this. I don't know. Maybe it was something messed up and maybe it was just a little moment there, but it just wasn't working for the rest of the time. I actually had to start using my wife's cell phone in this place here. Just like I just did. I had to put her number in here, call me, and then th that would call. Uh, also on your own phone, you'll, whenever you get Amazon to call you, it's going to come up as a scam likely. 